Hey, big head! What's poppin', big head gang? So we're gonna jump right into this, guys. In this video, we're gonna be doing the Sheer Muse DIY do-it-yourself weaving system. So it comes with a closure or frontal, or I'm sorry, a hand-tied closure, three-way parting closure with baby hair, and it comes with three deep wave bundles and this is literally only $23 in the beauty supply store and my baby Alani wants to say hi so guys I'm going to be making a quick wig okay this is gonna be my first time ever making a wig so I'm really scared but we're gonna see how it comes out so you should start with the closure and um you want to get a wig head or a foam wig head and a hot glue gun um and you want to put a plastic bag underneath this because you're gonna see what I did not do and at the end I had a real big oopsie so don't be like me but you want to bring the cap on the head all the way down okay actually you want to put the cap on the wig cap on your head first and then make a mark with like a white pencil a white eyeliner pencil on where the closure goes and then when you put it on the wig head you're gonna know where it should line up with so pull the cap onto the head as far down as it goes because you don't want any room in your stocking cap and get a silicone a silicone wig, wig cap okay because it's so tight like it makes the wig feel so snug where you don't need any elastic bands also um when you're doing the closure tack it down with some t-pins or something before you start gluing because it will make it so much easier and i also recommend you sew it down so after you get the closure on, it's gonna be pretty much self-explanatory. Um, but I did end up going in and sewing my closure down because I noticed that the hot glue gun was just not getting it down on there the way I wanted it to. But I really feel like next time I'm gonna use some hair glue because I know glue does the job and I was not intending on using no type of sewing, nothing. I was wanting to do glue fast and quick but I did end up having to sew down the closure just to make sure that it was secure and because you know your closure is like the main part of your wig and you don't want it flying up so guys also make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the thumbs up on this video okay and share it with a friend guys I know you guys probably be like youtubers be so aggy with that but like since this th that is our livelihood like you subscribing and sharing and just being such a great person is like it helps us let me open it for you so yeah once you get the closure on it's gonna be like self-explanatory and all you're gonna do is measure the tracks to the cap and cut them or you can leave them as one leave it as one long weft or track but start with the longest one I'm starting with my 22 inch and you know go ahead and just keep going up until you get to the closure and if you run out of hair it just depends on what kind of hair you have that you should be okay because i do feel like i started to run out of hair because i was putting tracks kind of too close together but because this hair is so curly and big it was able to be hidden but you'll see what i'm talking about soon yes and i also recommend you put a plastic bag or a shower cap on your head and then you put like two stocking caps on there and then put your wig cap on there <laughs> because this the plastic literally got stuck to my wig cap and it was irking me okay video is doing the closure like once you get the closure on there flat putting the tracks on is gonna be nothing and the 
the other hardest part is melting the lace into your head like i'm not really good at doing that yet but this is a beauty channel so we're gonna we're gonna do so many wigs until we learn how to do lace and it's looking like it's coming out of our scalp and also we're gonna learn how to pluck okay but i really didn't have to pluck this closure too much because it's a three-way parting system so the middle part was all right to my liking like i don't know sis. you gotta let me know in the comments down below how you felt about the part So as you can see, like I said, it's very repetitive. Um, I went ahead and kept um, measuring and gluing until I got to the top, like I said, with the hot glue gun. And then um, once you get to the top, like I said, if you start running out of tracks, like try to cover as much cap as you can. <laughs> like I don't care what angle you have to make it go. Just try to cover as much cap as you can. And then the closure is going to flip over and help you with the rest. And then you can see if you do need to go to the beauty supply store and get you another pack. But you don't want to have to do that. Okay. <laughs> so, like, if you get big, deep wave hair like this, then you can be able to finesse it like me. And just, like, open up the hair enough to where the spots that you really wanted to close in are, you know, covered. So, yeah, just keep on filling. So guys, honestly, if you're looking for a quick do like a really quick DIY hairstyle, okay, that's cheap in the beauty supply store, I would really recommend you go get the Sheer Muse DIY weaving system. It comes with a stocking cap, okay? It comes with three bundles and it comes with a lace closure. Hey girl. It comes with a lace closure. Uh -oh. Sorry guys, you know how being a mom can be. But it comes with a lace closure, it's cheap, and the hair is actually really cute. Uh -oh. Alright guys, I had to go get her together. But yeah, if you're looking for something like this, like really cheap and really cute and quick, I would definitely recommend that you go get the Sheer Muse DIY weaving system. It comes with a stocking cap. It's only $23.99 for like the black or like natural black one or one B or like the brown. But once you start trying to get the colors, I think it's like $25, I want to say $25.99 in my local beauty supply store. So yeah, once you're finished, you're going to cut out the cap where the lace is at. And once you cut that out, you're going to rock your wig and melt your lace. I didn't know how to do that, so I just slapped it on. <laughs> but I did do a little bit of baby hair. So um, definitely drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you want to see me do another quick wig or quick weave with some beauty supply store hair and turn it into something cute, definitely let me know. Um, I did have to clip this down, this wig down just a little bit because it is really big. And honestly, I feel like once I st it starts to get shabby, I'm going to cut it into a cute, really big curly bob. So yeah, 